Hi, everybody. My name is Ross Cavett. I'm a news reporter in Atlanta, Georgia. Stephanie Carlson's uncle and a occasional broadcast meteorologist on WSB TV. It's an exciting time to be talking about and studying climate change and global warming. There's a lot going on. The Global Warming Conference in Copenhagen, a scandal brewing with some leaked emails from researchers that seem to throw some of the data in doubt and the EPA is prepared to regulate carbon emissions in this country as a dangerous and hazardous substance. When I was taking classes on meteorology not too long ago, one of the things I remember we first looked at is the graph of the global temperature as measured since the late 1800s. You notice specifically since the mid 1900s that temperatures globally have been steadily increasing. The linear trend is going up. It's like anything else. It's like a graph of the stock market. Some years are up, some are down. In fact, in recent years, they've been down. But the overall trend has been going up. And what's causing that are, are some of the things we studied. We looked at mountaintops along the equatorial area of the, the globe in Africa and South America. Some of the snow-covered mountaintops, the snow up there had been gradually decreasing over time. And NASA's put out a lot of pictures and graphs about the ozone layer, how holes have been gradually forming and then filling up again as the years go on, all troublesome trends. How might this affect the environment, the weather, the climate uh, for all of us? Really, you don't have to look much farther than where I live here in Atlanta to see some very extreme and varied weather trends in just the last few years. Many say that's because of global warming. We had a tornado that ripped through downtown Atlanta the summer before last. Nobody ever remembered a tornado of this magnitude coming through a downtown area of this major metropolitan area doing so much damage. Then after that, we were dealing with a drought in North Georgia, the drought that uh, of a kind nobody's ever seen before. And I remember doing stories standing on the dry lake beds. Then we fast forward to just a few months ago. We had flooding here in the metro Atlanta area. Again, flooding the likes nobody has ever seen before here. A flood that some experts have called a 500 year flood here in Atlanta. Is this all caused by global warming? You look at El Nino and La Nina causing weather swings, not only here in the southeast, but really all over the entire world. Is that caused by global warming? That's a lot of a conjecture and things that we studied when I was taking classes in meteorology. But one thing's for sure, the weather's changing a lot more than it ever has before. We've had extremes, dry, wet, hot, cold, severe weather. Something is going on. And with that thought, I'll leave you with a little musical montage.